Hmm. I told you this day would come. Yes, I told you this day would come. Your boy Derek Jackson got caught cheating. You know, me, I used to be a bullshitter. And it takes a bullshitter to know one. And I knew, once I heard that man and his content, that he was a bullshitter. That's Derek Jackson, that is. If you didn't know the news, your boy got caught cheating. And I knew this day would come. Yes, I knew it. It was just a matter of time. I live forever, I don't ever die. Murder, murder, murder on my mind. Line after line after line. Time after time, I'ma thrive. Push a button, then I start to drive. Surf boy ripping through the tides. Power Ranger, mighty morphin time. So what's up, you guys? I don't mean to kick people right it down, but... That's exactly what we're going to do. Um, Derek Jackson got caught cheating. Now, I knew once I heard this man that he was a bullshitter. Like, yo, it's not that guys didn't like him because he was exposing us. Guys didn't like him because they can see through it. It's just like, this guy's bullshit. To be honest, to be completely honest, every single man over 21 years old every man knows how to treat a woman like they know how to treat a woman like it don't matter what his past is what he's done to you his sister his mama every man knows how to treat a woman whether he decides to or not that's just on him and his personal way of living but everybody knows how to treat their significant other they know what the words they use and how to act how to care how to show love whether you're worth it or whether he decides to show you that that's a different story but everybody knows how to treat their significant other every man knows how to treat a woman i should say i can't speak for the women so he's just saying everything that we think in our own heads you know we all think these things. We're just not putting it on video or on paper for, for you to eat up and buy. Now, just because you preach it don't mean you live it. You know, like we've seen this with religion. And I'm not going to go into details about what religions. But, you know, some of the higher ups aren't practicing what they preach. And you could use that for almost any religion so i'm not gonna make this a religious thing um i'm just gonna say i told you i told you so i told you so now it's your fault for being manipulated and so naive to somebody who could make a video i'm telling you i swear for god i can make the videos that he's made I could write the books that he he's written. I could put on a bullshit facade and say, yo, if you're going to link with a single mom, you know, the least you can do is pay her bills because the dad ain't in her life. So that other half of the money's not there. So you got to step up and spend all that. Even if you don't have it, give it to her because a woman struggles. You know, he say shit like that and y'all eat it up and this is your own fault. This man cheated on his wife for years, and he is the platform to holding a healthy relationship. So now you guys know why he was doing videos in his car, because he either just came from cheating or he was about to cheat. I'm in my car, but that, that's not what I'm doing. I know Derek Jackson cheating is making women rethink the whole I'm not like other guys cool. I told you guys stop listening to these love gurus. There is a second woman coming forward saying that she also had an affair with Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson could probably get away with this if he sits in his car and says something like, I didn't hurt my wife. I was trying to make her stronger. Derek Jackson is the reason why niggas can just wake up and say good morning queen and find themselves in some Point is I'm not surprised you shouldn't be either um, Stop Stop with these love gurus and your favorite celebrity relationships because everybody is human Everybody makes mistakes 
Shout out to him. He's done his thing for a long time. It was a good run, and I don't think it's over because there's a lot of people who don't want to believe it, and they're not going to believe it. So it is what it is. But you guys just got to get your shit together. See a therapist. Like, listening to him is like Googling your symptoms. It's not going to fix anything. See a therapist or really communicate with your significant other because that's the best source. He can't speak for all men. I know he says when a man do this, he's playing games. And sometimes, like, yeah, that's a game that men play. Even though women play too. But this is not to compare. I'm just saying... He can't speak for all men. I can't speak for all men. You cannot speak for somebody specifically because my mind is wired different from everybody else because I have my own thoughts just like he has his own. So I would say if you guys want to fix your relationships and you want to be in love and do whatever, it's just like speak it to existence with your significant other, you know? Communication is key. I, I've learned that the very hard way. It took me 30 years to figure out that communication is key. And not just communication, but honesty. So just stay honest with whoever you're trying to talk to, whether it's a side chick, be honest with her. If it fits a main chick, be honest. You know, if it's just a fling, you know, just be honest and uh, communicate that. So I'm not trying to be the next love guru, but I told y'all last he was a fraud. I told you. Look, shout out to him. He already did what he had to do. He he got your mind. He got your attention. He got your money from seminars. He got your money from books. Um, the views on his videos, that could never disappear. So shout out to him. He's He's done well. He's done well. And I see a lot of females defending him, waiting for receipts. The receipts are out there. You're just not looking for it because you don't want to believe it. You guys could continue to protect him, but, you know, it's the reason why other guys are protected when they do wrong. So it's just like, look, I don't care if you guys defend him. I've, I've done wrong in my past. I've been forgiven. So I'm not going to hate on the next man. Shout out to him. You guys thought he was high value, and he turns out to be great value. But all jokes aside, he did preach a good word. He gave you guys what you needed to hear. Whether he performed and executed that, he still said some, a lot of real shit. So what he said shouldn't be like discredited because he was saying some real shit. All jokes aside, as a man, I could admit that. He was saying some real shit. So what he said is not just to be discarded and trashed, whether he executed or not. It's just about finding the man that will execute. And nobody's perfect. Men mess up. Women mess up. We're all human. So at the end of the day, if people want to forgive him, so be it. I'm with it. I, I never had anything against dude. I just, I just didn't like the whole he's perfect um, to be honest, to me, Think Like a Man came out, and we all know Steve Harvey was behind that, and he found it so interesting. He tapped in to that mindset and went viral with it. He just stuck with it, and it was a smart move. The guy got about 2 million followers on IG, uh, book sales, you know, video views, and things like that. So, shout out to him. Um, and that's that man just just watch you listen to these gurus they might preach the right word but just don't think they're the almighty um, as far as they can't make a mistake and he's the perfect man nobody's perfect there's no perfect woman there's no perfect man but you can find somebody that's perfect for you you know so nobody should have to deal with anything like that as far as cheating but if you are going to make it work Again, communication is key. And, you know, that's about it, y'all. I might have some big news coming up, so definitely stay tuned and follow my IG. I'm going to get busy on that real soon. I'm going to try to put out more content. I'm in a situation right now, so we working on it. We working on it. But thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, shout out to Derek Jackson. Thank you for the views, brother.
Dad, what's wrong? Had Henny, now I'm sipping on the deuce deuce. I just wanted to get big on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm still here. Well, while you're here, go ahead and click that like button. And the subscribe button. Okay. The notification bell, too. Leave a comment saying you did so. Lastly, click the video on the right for more cool content. It's Turk time.